Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and uh, hop in. I think that we had maybe just come back in here and um, don't remember if we sold off our extra gear. Yeah, we did. Um, trying to remember what it was I wanted to get into next, but let's check out the quest first. Um, Maybe learning Bombardo would be fun. It's been a while, little while outside of getting Crucio since I got a uh, new spell. So maybe we'll go out and do that. Let's see. There we go. I think this will be the fastest way. I've been looking forward to trying Bombardo. On another adventure, are we? Oh, I didn't realize there was warp. It was even closer. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. <laughs> uh, let's get Bombarda. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember... The exploding charm is highly volatile. Ah, oh, yeah. The promise will never abuse it. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice. Shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Oh, that's uh, pretty tough. Excellent. You have it well in hand. <laughs> it's quite a bit of pumpkin guts cheating up. Uh, let's see. Let's see this one too. Textbook execution. Bravo. Bombarda. Nice. What else can we hit? Can we hit these flower pots? Oh, it just makes them wiggle. This must be made out of an obtainium. Okay. Well, that was very satisfying. We have any other pumpkins that must die? Yeah, we got a couple more. Even seems to have a good amount of effect when you're a little bit further away. Okay. Well, cool. We'll leave the other pumpkins for another time. Let's get this one out. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to Professor Howen and see if there's another quest to fulfill here. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? Okay. Apologies, We've Professor. Had that Perhaps later. <sighs> Very well. Okay. Now, let's see. Shadow of Discovery. And we've also got 
doing more of our moon quest. And I think that may have been one I was actually considering doing um, at the end of the last stream. So let me open up my list of Demi Guys moons and maybe we'll knock out a fair number of them today. Um, let's see. All right, I think I got the first one that is in the Highlands location. Um, that was the Pit Upon Ford, North Ford Bog area. Yeah, so I need to go into, looks like, Upper Hogsfield, the Hogsmead Village for our next place. Let's check that out. Hmm. Upper Hogsfield, Hogsmead Village. Um, I believe this is it. Then we're gonna follow the path that leads north to House of the Will besides how the door. Travel was before I invented blue. Huh. Seems a pleasant enough little place. It says House of the Will beside the door. Okay. Looking for a wheel. Okay. I think it's gotta be talking about that. I thought I saw a lock. Yeah. Let's check out what's in here first. Hello, Hamora. I think it's lock is colored for Christmas, isn't it? Red and green. Oh. Nice. Revenio. Okay, what do we have in here? Still some more food. <laughs> oh, bookcase is cool. The striped house color scarf. All right. Um, we'll head back out, and I believe this is the one we actually need to get to. What do we have? Hello, Homora. Okay. Now we need to make it night time. Here we go. Mine now, Dipping Mine Guys. Mine now, Demi Guys. <laughs> oh, drinking your drink. Nothing you can do about it. Rebellion. Do you think it's pretty funny that you can just take swigs and eat random food around people's houses and just wherever? <laughs> Four or six rules. Records. Okay. Um. Saw a bag of money or something back here. Yeah. I should investigate. All right. Now let's see. Our next one is in Aaronshire in the South Hogwarts region. Aaronshire. Eastern side of South Hogwarts. Hmm. I don't quite see it yet on the map. Oh, I think this might be it. Yep, here we go. Enter the closest house to the flu flame, which has a level one lock. Head upstairs to find the demigod statue. I feel like maybe I've already got this one. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Closest house to the flu flame. Okay, this is this should be the one. Let me uh, back up and look at it. Yeah, this is the one. I'm pretty sure I've already got this. We'll check anyways. It's upstairs, allegedly. I think we've I think we've already cleared this house, so. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it was uh maybe right on that rotting desk over there, so Okay, well we're good. Um Lower Hogsfield, the South Hogwarts region. All the hogs. 
Lower Hogsfield in the South Hogwarts region. Yep. Okay. What are you up to now? Okay, now it says that we need to enter the house with the rounded roof, which has a level one lock on its door. Um, let's see. Rounded roof. I think it's this one on the right. I just want to double check, see if there are any others in this area. No, I think it's only these two. Okay. Guessing I've already got this one. Fine now, Demi guys. Oh, maybe not. It's you. Thank you again for saving me. I'll never forget you. Hello, Archie. Thank you again for finding my dear Archie. I honestly don't know what I would do without him. He's all I have now. It's you. Thank you again for saving me. I'll oh. never forget you. Can't get past them. There we go. Well, thank you for the clothes. I guess that's thanks enough. Um, interestingly, it said there was a level one lock, and I didn't see one, so I wonder if I already did it, or because I did that mission, maybe it's not there anymore. All right, Brockborough in Hogwarts Valley. This looks like it's kind of maybe south of Diagonal. Oh, look, there's a lot of stuff going on over here. Um, maybe we'll do a side mission or two out of this if we get done to Demi guys quickly. Okay, we're going to get to the center of the town, which has a well and a few It's like a place right out of a storybook. Right. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. Yeah, we'll do that in a bit, bud. Face northwest towards the two houses and enter the house on the right. It has a level one lock. Okay, so this one, I guess it should be the one over here. And finally, the guy guys set you on the floor immediately to the left after entering the house. Well, there it is. Surprised you didn't get a, a, uh, a voice line at all. Interesting. They uh, remain quiet. Okay. Give me that money. Give me that money. Gotta have it. Um, how we get it. Here we go. Accio. Gotta be as obnoxious as possible and get all the money. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll head back out. Come on, buddy. It's enough to even crew right now. Oh, I think I've hit some sort of bug. He's like tracked on that. Let's go ahead and go in here Hello, while we're at it. character can't run so I won't have to fast forward. A letter from Helen Thistlewood to her brother Eddie. My dearest Eddie, I was so pleased to receive your letter and it's been too long since I've been home. You may be interested to know that my time with the ministry will soon be coming to an end. It seems they've forced me into an early retirement and there's not much I can do to change their minds. No matter, in all my years as an Auror, I've seen over and over again how those at the top are more interested in preserving their place than in actually serving those about them. But that's enough of that. There will be time enough to tell you the tales of my life out here in the great big world when we meet again. You'll be happy to know that I'm coming home soon, although I'm thinking of settling in Upper Hogsfield upon my return, still, ne still nearby. I intend to enjoy the time I have left, there's still mysteries to solve after all. Every your sister, Helen Thistlewood, London. Okay. Let's see. My character is definitely 
getting caught up here. Okay, let's uh, head off to our next one. This one is in Keenbridge in Hogwarts Valley. Keenbridge, where are you? Looks like it might be kind of southwest of here. Okay, good. And where's our warp? All right, this one is saying, follow the path that heads west out of Cambridge, the house with pumpkins outside and a clothesline coming down from the roof. Okay. West of Keensbridge. I who lives here. I think that might be straight up, actually. And there's the pumpkins and the clothesline. And it says to unlock the level one Alohomora. I think I see it. Yep. Alohomora. Okay, should be immediately inside. There you Mine go. Now, dummy guys. My now, buddy. Revelio. Okay, let's see what's up here. Nothing. I think it's another asset flip copy of another house. Maybe they only have like a couple of good spells for house making, so they all look similar. <laughs> all right, Feldcroft. I think this one's way off to the east. Oh, I thought this was it. Maybe not. Um. Ah, I know where this is. This is in the southeast. Okay. All right. We're going to head to the east oh, side of the town. Adventure, are we? Oh, this is very similar. We're going to head to the east and look for a house that has a clothesline on it. Yep, this is it. Aloha. Interesting, they did a similar pattern as the other one. Okay. Revelio. Guessing there's a small chest or something in here too. All right, well, we got more clothes. Once again, I am really happy with this appearance system that they came up with where, you know, you can sell whatever is not a good piece of clothing, but still get the cosmetic effect. And it's really neat. Hope games will continue to do that. I'm not sure I've seen too many of them had that as a feature, so. Okay, the Irondale, the Feldcroft region. I think it's the south um east slightly or actually it's mostly east barely southeast from here okay to the map i think it's in this mountain range area yep all right cool we'll need to find the house with a triangle roof and althea twiddle inside you up to now I think that this might be it looks like the right angle with the windmill in the background and everything mine now dummy guys yep rebellion hey little buddy come here I'm guessing there's at least one more thing inside of here. Or maybe not. Okay, so this would be where healthy it would be, I suppose. Alright. Morinweem in Morinweem Lake. I guess it might be southeast of us. Um doo -doo -doo. Yeah, okay.
head north and take the first right turn and then follow the path to the first home we come across nice on the you, left. My young friend. Okay, looks like we're facing north already and take the first right turn. Okay, and follow the path to the first home you come across on the left. Okay, I think it might be talking about this one here on the Not left. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Uh, I'm not sure this is the right entrance. May not have followed the directions correctly, or they're a little bit off. Let's see, I'm comparing the screenshot to what is in the area. This doesn't seem quite right. Hmm. Do do. Could be I already got this one too. Let me read it one more time. From the flue flame, head north and take the first right turn. Follow the path to the first time we come across on the left. I wonder if they miscalculated it's actually these guys or something. Nah, I don't think this is it. It's gotta be that one that I was actually at before and I must have just already got it. Let me look at it one more time compared to the screenshot. Yeah, I think that this is it. Um, yeah, let's see. Hold on. They're just similar enough. I think that there's a little hill or something here. Um, I think that in the screenshot, they were actually standing kind of like this. Just kind of comparing things to make sure. Yeah, this has got to be it. I see the clothesline and the lamp post and everything. Okay, so I guess I've already got this one. Um, all right, Demi guys touching on the counter. So yeah, I bet it was like right. Oh, now, Demi here. guys. Oh, it is here. Where is it? Oh, okay. I guess because I didn't hear the cue, I didn't think I had one left to get. Oh yeah, this is the one um, with the, uh, was it the Festral? I can't remember for sure. Okay. Bainberg and Manor Cape. Okay. I feel like I may have got this one. I think it might be the one with the Inferi Bainberg, northern section of Manor Cape. Oh, I really cannot tell where this one is. There's Cragcroft. Oh, there it is. Bane Burr. I wonder if it's Bane Burr with like a silent G or Bane Burr. The hard G. Turn left when looking away from the flu flame and then head towards the house on the left. Seems a pleasant enough little place. And it says house on the left. Head towards the house on the left. Okay. On the door and collect the demigod statue. From the statue inside. Rebellion. Oh, there we go. Is there anything else in here? Oh, yeah. It looks like one more. Okay. Now the next one is in... Cragcroft, and this looks like this could be our last one um, in Cragcroftshire. Weird orb location. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before okay. I invented flu powder. Make your way to the center of Crackcroft, which is indicated by a large tree. I think it might be talking about this one. Kind of the only one. Alright. Large tree. Face northwest and move towards the house behind the vendor, Bella Navarro. Oh. Uh. Oh. 
it says that move towards, head inside, and go to top floor to find a demigod statue. Oh, Rebellion. we got a guide page here. A giant shade tree. This gorgeous tree has served as a home to countless bow truffles, berries, and even rumor has it an augury or two. Many simply enjoy it for its shade. Okay, I think it's talking about this house. I think I see the statue as well. Mine now, dummy guys. I wonder what that noise outside was. It sounded like somebody fighting. Revelio. Okay, I feel like I've got them all now. Um, I wonder if I need to go return them. Let me look and see. Yeah. Let's see if our quest marker is showing anything yet. Oops. Go back. The man behind the moons. Okay. Yeah, it's not saying talk to him, so I think that, that might be it. Oh, I've got to talk to this guy. Okay. Um, first, let's go to Hogwarts and we'll go to our secret room and room requirement and um, I'd like to identify my stuff. We'll go sell stuff in Hogsmeade and then we'll go talk to the other dude. We'll go ahead and run through a harvest of everything we have as well. Let's see if we can power up something. All right, give me my cool gear. All right, I'm guessing nothing is an upgrade though, if I look at things. A lot of dapper stuff, but too bad we're gonna have to sell it all. Oh, wait a minute, let's see, 88. Well, it is a 30, so I don't think it'll be an improvement. Okay. Where are things to sell? Oh, I actually had a new wand handle. Let's see what it is. What flavor do we have here? Oh, that looks pretty good. I think I'll try that for a bit. All right. Um, now let's go pick up our other stuff. I think there's the chopping stations, which we need to clear. And then we need to go into here See what um, we can pull up. Alright, pull on those guys. We've already got all our venomous tentacula. Alright, now let's see what would we want to get into next. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and take care of our beast. Come here, beast. Um, all right. We'll start here, I suppose. Come get your cuddles. Oh yeah, this griffin should be done uh, mating soon, right? This will, or it should be done already. Can go open the pan, probably. Well, a lot of them seem to have already had their food. They went quickly. Um, we missing? How we? Where you at, buddy? Okay, and Hippogriff Egg is still two minutes away. Okay, um, looks like one of the measles needs to have their fur brushed. And yeah, there we go. There you go, buddy. Um, all right, so we got a flooper. Flooper duper. And, huh. Guess that's everything. 
come back for that um, hippogriff egg after we get the other rooms taken care of, I suppose. well yeah I guess it's eating yep okay let's see I guess I got everybody but the Thestral offspring okay there it goes now we'll do our last vivarium and we'll go back to the hippogriff baby get it taken care of oh yeah I forgot we had the nifflers coming soon You're already eating. You got a little moon calf. Okay. Oh. Come on now. Okay, did we get everybody? I guess you better eat. Alright. Uh, okay, we're just a minute away from having our niffler, so I guess we might as well stay here. Come on, miracle of life and all that. Let's go. Just snoozing away, letting that egg hatch. Feels like a rocket launch. T minus 20 seconds. The door's gonna close on the thing or something before it'll let me. Oh, why does that take so long? Okay. They really want them to clear the gates, don't they? You got a little thing. Eat up. Give me your friend. Alright. Everybody has paid their dues. Let's go greet the hippogriff. Well, oh. I guess it's already out. buddy <laughs> get it it's already almost as tall as my character it's crazy okay just like that we already have a full vivarium here um i guess it could be a good opportunity to take a couple of them out uh let's see oops we'll go ahead and i guess take this Female back, they look like they're identical. I'll look after you. And um you know, I'll take out this male as well. They have the two measles. Um 
I guess we could keep the Hippogriff offspring a little bit longer. Let's go look in the other place for anything else we want to take. Okay. We'll just keep them as they are since it's just the Thestrals and our offspring. We'll at least wait till it gets um, fully grown, I guess. And, oh, I can't get around Deke. Hello, way, Deke. Let's go in here. Okay. Um, yeah, kind of the same story here. We really do need to get another deer a call so that we can get our all breed all 10 types dealio done um let's see i think we wanted to go talk to the dude in hogsmeade so let's go there um next and we will supposed first off go to spent witches sell our stuff then we'll go find the dude that sent us the nasty gram Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Okay. Let's see. The young today aren't willing to put in the world. You're back. Nice to see you again. All right. I can't believe I'm almost up to 15,000 already. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. This is craziness. Ah. Let's go speak to Piers. Why would anyone care enough to remove my demigod statues? Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. I, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> Ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student too cowardly to do it himself <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly, until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. <sighs> Fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Okay. It's pretty interesting, uh, an elaborate way to get back at somebody. <laughs> right. Let's see. What will take us there? Um, south wing, I guess. I thought it's weird because. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's a facul faculty tower. I remember now. It's taking me forever to remember. He's just going to be like straight ahead and on the right. 
Yep, yep. Duncan owes his reputation to you. There we go. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laugh the artist of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Okay, there we go. We are fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demiguise figurine menace. <laughs> wow, okay. That was a uh, super long running quest, wasn't it? I think this is our complete list. Um, is it in order we did them? No, it's not. That's interesting. I wonder. Let's see. Beast class. Shadow of the Undercroft. Yeah, I don't see any uh, rhyme or reason to how these are ordered, actually. Huh. Okay, then. No problem. Well, that was really cool. I'm, I'm glad that we uh, finally got that one done. That was a big and long mission. Um, I think it'd be fun to meander around Hogwarts for a little bit. I want to make my way to the um, Grand Hall at some point. Can't really remember exactly where it is from here. So if we don't find it in a minute or two, we'll just warp over. But I'd like to see any of the uh, winter set up that we can see. Is it here? Or is this going out somewhere else? Off on another adventure, are we? Ah, we're in the Slytherin dungeon. Um let's set up this way. I think this is gonna take us outside, maybe? Yeah, this is gonna make us cross over. Yeah, it looks fun. I wonder if you can actually chase them. I wonder if they land or anything. Oh, they just disappear. <laughs> okay, then. That's funny. Um, you know, I don't even know which area is the Grand Hall. I think that's the greenhouse. And this is flying lesson and stuff. Huh. Really need to study the layout a little bit better. So maybe down here? This feels like this might be close to the right way. Ah. I don't know. I guess another alternative other than warping is I can do, um, to set the Great Hall. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to warp. Darn it. I was going to set a, um, a tracker and make my way over to that, but that's okay. I hit X instead of, I think Have I needed to press triangle or something. Your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay. Um, let's see. So I got a bunch of candles up. Oh, I don't think I noticed the houses in the stained glass before. That's cool. Um... Not as wintry as I thought it would look on the inside. I thought it may, may have had it Rebellion. decked out kind of like in the movies, but it doesn't look like it. The Great Hall ceiling. The ceiling in the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Hmm. Alright, um, I want to do a check on my clothing and see if there's anything that I'd like to change the appearance of things to. Um, I'm going to start with... 
the cloak and robes since they're kind of the most prominent. Let's see here. Beast Rescuer. Boon's Tentacula. Treasure Treasure Keeper or Seekers. I think I've already done something with that. Um Could go all dark arts for a little while. That could be fun. Oops. Change appearance, please. Hmm. Need something dark and brooding, don't we? Start with Midnight Debonair Ensemble. I should have the dark arts thing too, since I um, had the pre order, I think. Legendary armored attire. Island Explorer, it's not going to be any of these. There it is. Dark Arts Ensemble. Okay. And how about here? Yeah. This will be fun. Okay, they have kind of a strange hat. Dark Arts Garrison. Dark Arts hat. Yeah, we'll go with that one since it's all animated. Spooky looking. Uh... Alright, I'm going to do the whole shebang, even the wand, probably. So creepy, so spooky. Alright. I wonder, is there a Dark Hearts wand handle that comes with this? There's a dark gray swirl. Now that looks pretty nice and dark artsy. Well, that's interesting. There's not actually a wand that's oriented towards the dark arts. Um, that's fascinating. Okay. Um, you know, I need to use Sepulchria too. I keep using the broom for everything, but I could actually use one of the mounts. And I think I've been missing out on that. So um, let's see if there's anything else we want to get into. I still haven't leveled up quite yet, so maybe if we could do like one more shortish quest, we could get something in. Astronomy Wing, and what is this one? In the Shadow of Discovery. Yeah, I don't want to go to that one yet. Um, beating a curse. Rumor has it Samantha Dale is having a problem with her brother William. I want to see if I can help her. Okay. Um, let's just walk through Hogwarts, this one. Here we go. More of a jog, I suppose. If we see any cool winter stuff, we'll take a peek. Ooh. Holy loading screen, Batman. Alright. I wonder if she's off by the boathouse. I didn't pay very close attention to where we were going. I'd go. Oh, this way. Disappeared on me. There she is. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. He's, he's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's, looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry. How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Beets for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and 
the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is pretty far away, but um, let's go ahead and get a warp in. I'd like to go through this one somewhat quickly. Ah, I think we've been in this place before. Uh, let's see, this will be the closest warp. We'll use our mount to cover the rest of the ground if it'll allow us. I wonder if getting bombarded is what unlocked some of these things to you. Place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Let's go! Okay. Actually, do you have the thing actually selected? Okay, I think I do now. Hmm. Well, oh, wait a minute. Something's not right. Okay, now let's look for the white marker. Okay. 
There we go. Here we go. I'm glad I didn't do this tune because uh would have been a lot of work for uh maybe no quest at the time, you know. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. You know, I have no idea how to land. Okay. Okay, back in the bag. See you, buddy. Yeah, I definitely think I prefer the broom, but, you know, we'll try to get the mounts out every now and then to get some, um, Rebellion. Uh, maybe a whimsical flight well, through my feet the didn't turn into forest. Beasts. That's a good start. So this looks like a proper dungeon. And man, this looks very similar to one I've done before, actually. I remember a layout exactly like this, actually. Revelio. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember, this is a, I think that's the way forward, so we want to explore up here just a little bit more. So I'm pretty sure I'm leaving at least one or two Should treasures on the table. Just would use devil snap. Okay, now I'll have to get the Lumos out. Lumos. Okay, nice. A, a troll? You can't be serious. Okay. Let's get like a flip endo or something. Um, we already have it here. Good. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've actually pulled that off. Nice. How about we uh, go up here and then we'll use our focus potion. Here goes my combo there. Bombada, Ooh, ouch. You give him a heart attack or something there? Rest Dang. easy, my large friend. Rebellion. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can climb back up this way, because I'd like to keep exploring that other area. We'll use a slide, come back down. I guess this isn't quite like the other dungeon. It was just a Similar beginning, perhaps. Um, let's see what's back here. Revelio. The jack and lanterns. All right. Okay. Let's see. I want to say. Ah, okay, I see how this works out. So this was just the other way of going. This is the spot that I saw earlier and turned back from because I was afraid that it was going to advance me to the next uh, part. Okay. Lumos. I think that we have come back around. So we'll go back. Revelio. Hmm. Well, let's see. Some good old Ditney. Looks like we may be at the end of our quest here. A sarcophagus. 
This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Revelio. Let's see. Anything else here? Wonder if it'll let me warp out. I bet it won't. Yep. Gotta make our way out. I guess I'll... Yeah, it looks like there's at least one treasure left. Go ahead and get that while we're here. Looks like a bag of coins as well. Maybe it's a left turn up here. Revelio. Yeah, I didn't go this way at all for some reason earlier. Huh. Guess I was panicking well, trying to get back to where I was. More than plants. Yeah, I get some money. Okay, uh, up here. Just one more spin around. Let's see, I think it's up this way. This should be the exit here in a moment. There you go. That was a fairly nice size for a dungeon. I'm going to go a couple minutes past the hour that I was hoping to do, so it's not bad at all. Samantha will be glad to hear. Oh, let's we'll see what he has to say. It's been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Okay. Okay, library annex. I think it's the greenhouse that this would be closest to her. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more feet. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry, that's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course, I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Okay, we still have it in crack level 31, believe it or not. So let's uh, clear out our stuff here and we'll probably return to the room of requirement, but I'll collect things um, in the next stream to kick it off. What do we have here? Ah, here it is, okay. And then a new enemy, who is our new enemy today? Was it the troll? I bet it was. Yeah, the riparian troll. It's understanding a common wizard gesture to troll rampage through a small hamlet east of Hogwarts. Okay. About out here. Ah, here we go. Hippogriff statue and oh, the jack o' lanterns. Okay. And our bookcase. Nice. That oh, looks like there's something else to find. Do do do. A totem. What else? I think it might be it. Okay. And something or some things new here. There you go. That might be it. Oh, looks like there's at least one more. 
Ooh, I wish I'd make these easier to see. Um, the ceiling, and that's it. There's our nifflers. We didn't sell them, but I guess we'll try to get them on uh, the next stream. So let's go ahead and... Oh, actually we do have some gear to look at. Let's see how much we have. Yeah, we got tons of gear slots, so I don't think it's worth um, going all the way back to Hogsmeade just to sell two nifflers and one piece of equipment. It might be two, three at most, but yeah, it's just not enough. So we'll go ahead and go to the room of requirement, and while that's loading up, I'll go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. It's been S tier rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have an upload of today's stream on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good day.